Hey y'all, so today I am coming to you with one of my most favorite things to eat. This is gonna be considered to be semi-homemade because I didn't make all of the, the items that are gonna go into this dish, I did not. Some of them are homemade, some of them are not. And that is okay with me. So, what I am going to make is something that I, um, for years, would go down to Lexington Market here in Baltimore and go to one of, it's, it's a stay in SL's, like fresh roasted turkeys, um, turkey soup, turkey sandwiches. It is absolutely delicious, but they have a, a sandwich called the Gobbler. Um, and that is a, um, it tells the, you know, affiliation to Thanksgiving and the turkey. So this sandwich is most certainly a taste of Thanksgiving into a sandwich. It most certainly, it is absolutely, absolutely delicious. One of my favorites. Um, so I went over to Wegmans, oops, I'm sorry, and got a half of loaf of their sourdough bread so i'm just going to open it up and i'm going to grab two slices from the middle because they are the largest slices inside of here i'm going to put those down then i'm going to take my whole berry cranberry sauce and some people might say ew because i know a lot of people don't like cranberry sauce i absolutely love it whether it be jellied without the whole cranberries or jelly with the with the home the whole um cranberries i absolutely love cranberry sauce my first my most favorite um cranberry sauce to date that i have tasted is from trader joe's it is strictly seasonal at trader joe's but it is absolutely delicious. They have two of them that they actually curry around the holidays. And both of them are really, really good. If you like cranberry sauce, like me. Okay, so now I'm going to take my sourdough bread. I'm going to butter it on one side. Oh, before I forget, oops, I have the griddle on. And I'm going to turn it up to a medium heat because we are going to grill our sourdough bread. <laughs> hey, Connor. So, so I'm so going to please. Hmm? Cut it off of it. Mm -hmm. Even like the word at the bottom? Yes. Okay. So Connor is also working on a project right now that I am assisting him with. So I am going to take a buttered slice of sourdough bread and I am going to flip it over and I'm going to add some cranberry sauce. Now in a perfect world, I'm gonna be able to cut this with a knife. Our world is not so perfect right now, so I have to get a spoon, <laughs> which I was anticipating that happening. Okay, and mommy do be cold, so you guys may hear, you know, me um assisting him with this project right now. Connor, can I see um what the words on the page that you were just asking me about? And y'all, this is real life, like cooking yeah. our kids. Oh, oh, don't don't sit that right down. It's it's what? Okay, let me see. Uh, you need to. Um, separate those two words. That's going to be two different ones. Gotcha. Okay. So, again, like I was saying, perfect example of the real world. I'm cooking, shooting videos, also helping Connor with a project. That's just what it is. Mommy, entrepreneur, and I love to cook. So, yeah, that's how it usually goes. All right. So, now, first slice of bread. Cranberry sauce, one side, butter on the other, goes down on the griddle. And it's not gonna stay on there long. It's just to um, toast our bread, that's it. And I'm gonna get a little bit more butter to put on this half. 
And I even had time to let my butter soften today. So, yeah, I'm struggling. I'm struggling to get that butter to be just even a little bit pliable so that it doesn't, you know, tear our bread. So, okay. That's what's happening. Okay. Um, there are some quotes probably at the bottom of the second page. You want to cut them so that they are, you keep the quotes together. So when you get to the second page, let me know. Okay. So now I'm going to take more of the cranberry sauce. On second page. Okay. Cut, let me, um, can you bring it over here, but don't sit it on the counter. cha -ching. Okay. So these, you need to keep this one together. Keep both of these lines together. So when you cut it out, keep it together. Same thing with this one. Keep it together. So just do it like all down the middle? Um, yeah, just, just keep that together. Okay. Okay. Don't play with me. So, ooh, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all can't see. I'm sorry. So cranberry sauce is going on the second piece of bread one side cranberry sauce the other side butter now that one is going down on the grill Ooh, that's going down on the griddle too so again i'm just getting i just wanted to get toasted like this and um you know just to get some heat to it that's fine yeah that's fine good job actually Okay, so now on to the star of this show. Even though for me the cranberry is the star, but this is the, the, the co star. This is a roasted turkey breast from Giant. And so that's why I tell you guys that this actual recipe is semi homemade because I didn't slave over this beautiful turkey breast. I did not. The giant in my area sells these for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Why would I'm not slaving? I'm I'm gonna get it right from there. And guess what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make this sandwich that I wanna eat for dinner. But my my child is he's not he's definitely not about this life. Uh -uh. So I <laughs> I am going to cut some pieces of this turkey off. I wanna eat that, but not now. You heard him? I probably eat that, but nothing else. So he's going to actually have, you know, roasted turkey for dinner. Killing two birds with one stone yet again. All right. So now I'm going to turn this heat down a little bit because I know that that is getting good and toasted and I haven't carved up the turkey yet. So I'm just going to take a knife and just cut into the turkey breast. I just want to get a couple of nice slices on it. See what we're working with here. Let me put the pictures down, please. Hmm? Let me put the pictures down. Huh? Yeah, let me put the pictures down. Yeah, give me, um, now that you cut everything out, we can, um, you know, relax for a second because then I'll help you. <laughs> I'll help you. All right. So I'll put that one to the side because it actually had a nice amount of skin on it. Connor probably really will want that. So I'm going to take a piece that is predominantly meat. And this one, I'm actually going to cut in half. And it has some skin on it, but not too, too much. So I will take that one too. Like this. And this one. Like this. And I'm just trying to judge how big our bread is to see like how much turkey I can put on there. But I think this is good. I have about three nice size pieces. And I am going to now start to assemble our sandwich. And I'm going to show you guys something else as well. I'm going to show you something. Because there were some other dishes that I actually was able to make today. And it was in preparation of the sandwich. Alright, so I am going to get a spatula. I'm going to... Get this out of my way. Make sure my area is clean. That is very important. Okay. 
take my spatula get my first piece off nicely nicely toasted okay lay that down on the plate place my turkey down all three pieces we shaping up a good sandwich y'all i'm trying to tell you okay then i'm actually going to cut this off because i don't want this to get too too brown which it was definitely on its way to doing i'm now going to take my cornbread stuffing that i made earlier remember i was telling y'all this sandwich is I promise you, Thanksgiving on a sandwich, it it is. I swear it is, okay? So I'm going to take some of my cornbread stuffing that I made previously. And I also have a video for that as well on here. So I'm just going to take a scoop and like a half of a scoop of our cornbread stuffing and press it down on our sandwich and you may have saw me reach for a pot that was also our homemade gravy that i made a few minutes ago and we have a video for that too <laughs> we actually was able to we were able to shoot and film all of the um the homemade components to make this sandwich it today has been just like an absolutely awesome day like i'm so happy about today like today was such a planned out productive day and planning was the most important like it it was a good day good good day okay now what i'm gonna do i am going to take a other piece of sourdough bread that has uh, cranberry sauce on it and i'm just going to turn that over i can't <laughs> oh my god this thing looks so good all right so i'm going to take that and i'm going to give it a light press now what i want to do is i want to give you a variation of this sandwich you can also make this thanksgiving sandwich in the form of a grilled cheese I did not fancy any cheese today. I didn't want any. They don't, I don't have a, a taste for cheese today. But you can most certainly make this sandwich. Make it as a grilled cheese first. So assemble sourdough bread butter on both sides. Put you a slice of cheese of your preference in the middle. Me, I might go for a slice of Gouda. I might go for a slice of cheddar. I may go for a slice of Swiss. Make the grilled cheese. When all of the cheese is nice and hot and bubbly and melted, put it on your plate, open it up. Add the cranberry sauce to um, either one side or both sides and then layer it just as I have done and then you know stack your other piece of bread right on top. Th that'll change your life too, I promise you. will change your life. All right, so I have heated up our gravy because it was, you know, um, sitting out at room temperature for a few minutes. So I wanted to make sure that it is really, really hot um, for me because I'm going to dip my sandwich in there. And listen, yes, I made cornbread stuffing predominantly for a sandwich. Yes, I made gravy so that I can dip my sandwich in the gravy. I did, but I promise you, it may seem like this is a lot of work for a sandwich, but it is completely worth it. I promise you, I'm not going to steer you wrong. And it also did not take me a long time at all. Not at all. I may, it may have taken me 15 minutes, 10 minutes, another, what? I'm talking to y'all, so I'm not really, you know, moving as fast as I would be um, if I was not, um, you know, recording and talking to y'all. So 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 35 minutes, because another thing, this is purchased. I did not make the turkey bath. So I made the stuffing homemade. I made the gravy homemade. The cranberry sauce came out of the can. The bread came from Wegmans. 35 minutes. 
to me, in my opinion, for me, 35 minutes is not a long time to have something this delicious, even though it is a sandwich. So now I'm going to take some of my gravy. I'm going to hit it to the ramkin. And I'm going to dip. This, this is for the dip. My, my gravy is for the dip. For the sandwich. Look. Look at my sandwich, y'all. Look at it. Look at it. Get. Get. Let me. Mm. Chow. Okay, let me. How do I want to do I want it straight up and down? Do I want it on a slant? Hmm. I think I'm going to do it on a slant. Well, I don't know. That might be kind of hard with the. um. I'm going to do it straight up and down. That's going to make it easier. But, but listen to this. Listen to that crunch. The complexity and the layers of this sandwich. It is not even right. I, I got some crunch. I got some. Mm, some softness in the middle. Listen, wait a minute. Look, get into this. Look at that. Look at that. Listen. And, and wait a minute, so let me tell you, this is not um, a, a sandwich that you can be dainty and cute eating. It, it's not happening. I'm going to dip this in this gravy. And it's going to be a wrap. I promise it's going to be a wrap. It's Thanksgiving in here today. It is. Mm, okay. So. Please, 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 please. Please go subscribe. Please go like. Please make this food. Please add these recipes to your toolbox. They are absolutely delicious. YouTube channel. The Pudding Lady. CPMA. I love to cook. I'm a mom. And I am a medical auditor and educator. So, I hope you guys like these videos. I hope you like the recipes. And I'll see y'all later. Because I'm, I'm about to eat. I'm about to throw down. Alright, y'all. See y'all later.